<laughs> you thought you thought I was going to be sitting in the chair, but I but I was over here. Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this week's video. So today, a big thank you to June and Steve for picking up this beautiful brand new custom ordered truck. Uh, we're gonna be taking a look at a 2020 Kenworth T680. Uh, this was custom ordered, picked the paint, the color, the specs, the engine, everything, the driveline, everything was ordered to a T for uh, what the customer wanted. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, see a little bit of a teaser on the truck and then we'll dive into the details on how this truck is set up. So let's head outside and check it out. So what did I tell you? We got a real looker here. This is a beautiful custom ordered, custom spec'd out T680. It's a 2020 with a 76 inch midroof. So let's get into the details on the truck and uh, see what it's all about. All right, so looking right up at the front here, just love the background, love the, uh, the clouds in the sky, just makes it look really cool. This is a really cool shot here. We got some neat pictures of this here when it's all done and that sun sparkling off all that chrome. Woo wee, love it. <laughs> uh, all right, so looking up front here, we did a few different options uh, to put some chrome bits all over this. Uh, right here, we have the chrome bumper. It is a two piece design. So right down the middle here, there is a seam. So if you do damage one side, you can replace without having to do the whole thing. Uh, we have the standard aluminum metal mesh grill with the chrome shroud around it. Uh, we also put on a aftermarket stainless steel bug deflector. Uh, we also put on the hood mirrors, which gives you a little bit better visibility down the side of the truck so you can see what's going on. And those are in chrome. Uh, they can come heated as well. I don't remember if we put heat on there or not. Uh, and they are a breakaway design too. So you can basically fl flip them down if you, uh, if you so choose. Uh, as far as the hood, it's the, uh, the standard hood. It uh, comes with the chrome around the air intake. And we also did the chrome mirrors, which are optional. They come standard painted. Uh, we did the partial chassis fairings all the way to the back, but what's a little different about this truck is we put on a battery access. Uh, so right here, you give that a turn, and then you have access to your battery box. Uh, so you don't have to order the, uh, or sorry, you don't have to remove the whole side of the, uh, the chassis fairings here you can just access them right there. So it's a lot easier to gain access to them. <laughs> uh, here's your def tank. Uh, I believe it's a 27 gallon on this truck. Uh, we ordered two fuel tanks. Uh, we have the 110 here, 135 on the other. They line up pretty evenly. And we also order the mechanical anti-roll. Now, what the mat, let me explain this to you here. What the anti-mechanical roll is, uh, you have your fuel tank and in the bottom of the fuel tank, there's two support brackets when you order the two inch strips, uh, uh, straps rather. And those support brackets have a bar running across and through that bar, there's a bolt. And that bolt helps to prevent the fuel tank from spinning and the rubber gasket between the strap and the tank from coiling up and then you get gunk and junk in there and, and it will cause your fuel tank to leak over time. So it's a very inexpensive option, like less than a hundred bucks. And you can put that in there from the factory. Uh, mechanical anti-roll, don't forget that when you're ordering the two inch straps. Let's get back into it. 
So as far as the rest of the truck here, like I said, this is a 76 inch sleeper. We will take a look inside here shortly. We did uh, the emergency doors on both sides with the windows, come standard with the jockey door below. And uh, something I'd love to see happen is uh, the keyless entry would activate this here. But uh, for now, it's a manual uh, lock right there. So I don't know what's going on with the colors here. It seems like kind of weird. Anyways, uh, looking at the rest of the truck here, we have dual exhaust up the back of the sleeper. Really nice to see that. It's a little bit more weight, but uh, looks a lot cooler. And if you are idling the truck, which isn't really recommended, uh, you do have uh, the, the exhaust going out the top and not underneath the cab. And with this configuration, both exhaust pipes are connected. So something to, uh, to consider if you're wanting to have that, uh, both exhaust pipes connected. Here's your, your access steps. We have stainless quarter fenders. We have the polished uh, rims. So you have three levels of polish. I'll explain that here. Uh, level one is just your standard uh, buffed aluminum. So it's, uh, it's shiny, it's not a mirror finish. Then you have level one, uh, that's a, uh, that's right, you have level one, which is your standard shiny machine finished. Then you have uh, the next level, which is a standard polish. Uh, you pay a little bit extra for that one where the, the rims are actually polished up. And then you have the Durabrites. Now I think the polished rims get to be a little bit shinier because uh, you can put a cutting wheel to them and, and really shine them up, get a perfect mirror finish on them. The Durabrites are nice because you don't have to repolish them for years to come, just soap and water, but just a good, better, best option, depending on what you like. If you want to polish or if you don't, there's options for you. Let's get back into it. Okay, uh, at the back here, we have the Bridgestone M710s. Uh, as far as the tires, uh, they are wrapped around the aluminum rims and they're mounted on the Kenworth AG400 eight bag air ride suspension. This comes in a 40,000 pound and a 46,000 pound rating. As far as the fifth wheel right here, it is the FW35, a 7.8 inch ride height. And it sits around 47 inches from ground to the top of the plate. So that works for most uh, fleets that are out there. As far as uh, the rear ends here, we have the Meritor differentials. Uh, we've got drum brakes all the way around on the truck and uh, the truck has three, three, six gears. On this side here, we have uh, open access. You can install an APU and then there's a larger fuel tank. And here is the exhaust port for the factory installed uh, heater. Sorry about the wind here. It's a beautiful day, a little breezy, but I hope the audio is all right. Um, quarter fenders over here, of course. Now it comes standard with this rubber piece along the bottom. Uh, when you order the stainless bumper, you, you don't get it uh, under the bumper. With the painted bumper, you do, but that's just to help get a little bit better gap, uh, a little bit less of a gap, so it helps to provide a little bit more aerodynamics. You can delete that if you want. Uh, let's open up the hood and see what's inside here. Very easy hood to open up. Hey, we got tow beard. All right, uh, I guess the problem about having the video up front here is there's a lot more traffic and a lot more distractions. So it's always nice to visit with friends, but uh, let's get back into the video here. <coughs> so uh, I don't know what I've said already about this, but uh, we'll just kind of start over. So here we have the Packard MX-13. It's the 510 horsepower, 1850 foot-pounds of torque, pound-foot of torque, foot-pound, pound-foot, I don't know, 1850 torque. Uh, on this side of the engine here, we have your engine oil fill, your check, your power steering, your washer fluid, uh, fuel water separator, fuel filter, fuel, uh, fuel primer pump. Uh, we got some fuses right up there. And then uh, here's a little hydraulic reservoir for the clutch because it's an air assisted hydraulic clutch. Something a little different about this truck is it has air ride front axle. So this is a 13,200 pound capacity uh, mounted on a 13.2 uh, axle, spring, airbags and brakes, uh, which are drum brakes. 
Let's go around the other side and take a peek. So over here, we have the turbo, we have your fuel filter, sorry, your oil filter, your oil spinner, the center fugal or fugal or oil spinner. Uh, there's your rad coolant and then your airbags over here. Uh, air system for the interior of the truck. This is your HVAC uh, and then your air filter right there. You just pull that open and there it is. Easy peasy. Um, your air filter for the engine is mounted up high there and there is a filter minder right there so you can see if that's getting plugged up. We'll close up the hood here and uh, take a look inside. <clears throat> All right, so here we are inside the truck. Uh, oh man, the uh, screen is a little dirty here. There we go, just a little bit of dust on there. Uh, anyhow, we'll go up over the truck, but uh, the interior here, but a few things that I really like about this truck is we opted for the diamond VIT interior. So you get the dark gray inset here with the wood grain, uh, the wood grain down there, up above as well. Just really trims the interior of the truck out very nicely. Uh, so let's just kind of go side uh, to side on the truck here. So down below here, we have your door locks, your window lifts, your uh, mirror controls, mirror heat, and your uh, adjustment for your mirrors there. Uh, we did order the truck with a smart wheel. Uh, so we have your high idle control right here, and then there's your radio controls right there. Um, over here is your turn signal stat. You turn this here to turn the windshield wipers on. You pull this whole piece in to get windshield washer fluid on the window. Uh, down here is your ex your interior brightness. Uh, as you can see here, that's to adjust how bright you want the dash lights to be. Uh, this is your interior lights and your exterior light test. Here's the lights on the side of the sleeper extender. Uh, so that's just to see down the side of your trailer. Uh, your standard gauge cluster right here. Uh, over here is your trailer brakes and then your Jake brake is right here. So just as you pull that back, you can see the lights uh, go up on the dash right up there. Uh, your engine fan, which is running right now because I have the AC pumping uh, on the truck. It's a very warm day out. Uh, traction control, a couple spares, your bunk lights. Uh, this is your regen switch. Here's your air suspension dump and then your power divider, your interaxle lockout and then the forward axle lock. This is the uh, PTO switch and uh, your fifth wheel slide. Now this guy right here, this is to adjust uh, the display so you can see your fuel economy reports and any engine faults, etc. Uh, there's the Nav Plus system and then your gauges right there. Uh, we ordered to fill the gauges and then your auto climate uh, control right there. And then here's all your lights for exterior. You have your driving lights, your clearance lights, trailer clearance lights, and fog light switch. Uh, so that's a little bit about that. Uh, now these seats are a little bit different, uh, a little special. We did the cooled and heated. So these have uh, both functions on there. So you got the cooled seats, so you can cool down the butt if you need to. Uh, this seat here is a leather, they're both leather seats, uh, they're the GT703 series. So uh, we'll just show you how the whole function of the seat works. As you can see there, that is the, uh, to let the air back in the seat and it kind of rests back to the last setting. This is to adjust the shock. This is to adjust uh, your height. And then you have your three lumbar supports as opposed to the standard two with the GT702. Uh, jumping back over here, it has the manual 18-speed uh, transmission, so as you can see right there, that's uh, what we ordered. Uh, the truck has two other things on the seat down here. Uh, between the seat, there's adjustment for the tilt, and then this is adjustment for the seat cushion itself. If you want to have a little bit more or a little bit less, and then adjust the tilt right there. Um, just going to put the seat down here. 
All right, with a few moves of the seat here, you can swivel the whole piece around. So I'll show you how you do that. First, you wanna slide it forward a little bit, but not too much, otherwise you're gonna hit it right there. And then you just slide it again, slide it back, and then the seat swivels all the way around. You can recline the seat back, put your feet up. Uh, you can also grab the TV mount right here and pull that out so you can watch TV if you want. Uh, the table does flip out, so it is a flip out style table right here. So a little dusty yet. Just gotta wipe that down. There we go. Clean it up a little bit more. Um, so this is a really nice spot to sit down if you wanted to do some paperwork. Uh, have some, some supper or some lunch or breakfast. Any food item that you'd like to eat, you can sit here and eat your food item. Uh, lots of different things that you can do at a table. Tell me what your favorite thing to do at a table is. Actually, don't bother. Um, so we'll flip that out of the way. Right down here you have two drawers. Uh, these are tub style drawers with this little rubber gasket running down the side here. Uh, that's just to help keep that nice and snug. You can see that gasket get compressed. And when the, when the door is closed, it just keeps a little bit of pressure there so they're not gonna rattle and or shake. Same thing with the bottom one down there. We ordered carpet throughout. Uh, so that's a nice little function there. And then here is the uh, lower drawer. And then we have the fridge right up here with a freezer, shown this a lot. This top piece here can come out uh, and then gives you a little bit more height inside the fridge if you'd like to have more room. Let's uh, jump into the bunk here. So over here we have a drawer or a closet door with a shelf. Uh, we got the mirror and then the storage pockets on the door. So that's, uh, that needs to come out. I'll throw that out later. Uh, we have a couple storage pockets up high just kind of in the dead space here, just a good use of space, I think. On the other side here, we have a spot for the microwave. You have a 12 volt outlet there and another one down below. There's another piece. And then a little storage pocket up top there and there. Now there are curtains that separate the bunk uh, from the cab right up top. And then there's a curtain that goes all the way around the window if you uh, wanted to close off the cab and have the whole area to sit and relax at the end of the day. So uh, if you want to access underneath the bed, it's very easy to do. Uh, you just move the table out of the way and then down below here, there is a little latch. You lift that up and then you have access underneath of the, uh, the bunk. So you have your tow pins, your window front, there's your factory installed S-Bar heater, uh, and then there's the, uh, the blower working, uh, it's pumping cold air into the cab right now. And then down there is all the safety uh, equipment. Close that up, flip that over. And then there is an upper bunk. And when you do order the Diamond VIT interior, obviously you get the Diamond tuck uh, all the way around the back wall, on the back wall here, on here. Uh, the roof line is the same on all interiors. You even get the diamond interior on the inside of the plastic here. Yeah, that's a stretch, Andy. All right. <clears throat> so that's a little bit about the interior here. So. All right, so thanks for coming by the channel today to check out this truck. Again, a huge thank you to June and Steve uh, for coming all the way across Canada to buy this truck for me. I uh, certainly appreciate you putting your trust in me to help you. Uh, if you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, I'd encourage you to do so. Uh, that's a gentle way of saying, please subscribe. Uh, just hit that little button down in the bottom corner here. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Check out my website, Andy the Kenworth Guy, thekenworthguy.com. Uh, you can see what we have for inventory. I'm working for Inland Kenworth here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Uh, if you need a truck, I'm your guy to help you. So look forward to seeing you on the next video. And as always, have yourself the world's best day.
I'm just doing a video. Oh, I see. Yeah. No problem. Thank you. All right, so what did I tell you? We got a real looker here. This is a really nice custom ordered purple T680 2020. She looks beautiful. There's another airplane taking off. That's the uh, drawback of being right by the airport at our dealership, but it's close because you can fly in, I can pick you up, and you can grab your brand new Kenworth and drive it home. How's that? Oh, here comes a truck here. You want me to move? No? Oh, how's it going? You're on YouTube. <laughs> I'll just pause it for a minute here.